Let's have a look at some text functions. The text functions we're interested in today are left, right, mid, concatenate, and trim. We'll start with left. What left does takes the leftmost character or characters from the text string. We'll use the insert function palette for this. If I just type in left and go, it'll do a search for that function and bring up the most likely ones at the bottom. So there's the left function, and then click OK. So we can see now from the functions argument dialog box that there's only two arguments. The first is the text that we want to use. In this instance, I want to use a person's first name. So I'm going to put A2 in there. Always look around because it shows you there what the result of A2 is. So it shows you that it is John. It gives you a clue as to whether you've picked up the right cell or not. The next argument is the number of characters we want to collect from the left side of John. If I just put in one, it shows you that it's picking up here the letter J, the first letter of John. If I put in there two, it shows you that we're picking up the first two letters, J, O. Let's pick up three. So I'm picking up J, O, H, and then OK. And you can see there, it's picked up the first three letters. I could have just typed that function in. I'm just going to copy that formula down. You can see there we've picked up the first three letters of everybody's name. Right is very similar to that. What right does is picks up the last letter or the last number of letters. Let's try it. We'll use the function palette as well. And there's right and OK. Again, there's only two arguments. The first is the cell that we're interested in. In this instance, I want B2. How many characters do I want? Again, if I just put in one, it picks up the H, the very last letter of the, of the name. If I pick up two, it puts TH, the last two letters. Let's leave it as two, and then click on OK. See, we've picked up the last two letters, equals right B2, the cell that we're working with, and the number of characters we want to pick up. I'll copy that down, and you can see that we've picked up the last two letters, of everybody's name. Mid is very similar again. What mid does is picks up the middle number of characters. Let's try this again with the function palette. Uh, so we want mid this time is the function that we're looking for and then OK. There's three arguments this time. The first one is the text that we want to work with. So I'm going to pick up something from the person's surname. So I want B2 here. Now the starting number is whereabouts in that string, whereabouts in that name Smith do we want to start collecting information from? If I put in 1, it will start picking up information from the S. If I put in 2, it will start picking up information from the M. Let's leave it at 1 so we can see the effect. How many characters do we want to pick up? Um, I want to grab three characters. Okay, it's the 1. Just have a look at this carefully. We're working with the word Smith. We're starting at position one, the S, and we want three characters. So we've picked up S, M, I, the first three characters. Could have used left for that. So what I want to do, instead of starting at position one, I want to start at position two. So it'll start with the letter M and pick up the next three. In this instance, M, I, T. If I start at position three, it will start with the third letter of Smith, which is I, and pick up the next three, I, T, H. I'm going to leave it two, so I'll change that back, and then click on OK. So I'm starting at position two, and I've picked up the next three characters of the name, mid. Again, I could type it in. Let's have a go typing that in, equals mid brackets, so we can use these screen tips to guide us along what text we want to use. In this instance, B3. Which character do I want to start at? Two. How many characters do I want? Three. Oops. And there we've got R or W, the second, third, and fourth letters of Brown. Let's copy that down. Now, the reason I, I use things like this is to, to create people's usernames. So I'm picking up various parts of their first and second name to create a username. What I can do now is put these things together into one string. And I can use a concatenate for that. What concatenate means is simply join. So I'll use the function palette and look up concatenate. I'll type it in and search for it. And there it is. So OK. And this is quite simply 
tell it which text to join. So the first bit of text I want to use is the left bit, the C2. So I'll put C2 in there. The next bit, and you notice when I click in text 2, it gives me the option of text 3. So text 2, I want the right bit, D2. The next thing I want to join is text 3, and as I click in there, it'll give me an option for a fourth bit. In this instance, I want the middle bit, E2. So I'm taking C2, joining it to D2, and E2. And that gives me this result here, Joth Mitt. That can be the person's username. Click on OK. And there's the username that's been created. Let's try that manually. Equals concat. Can't spell concatenate. Yep. Open brackets. And then it's just telling you which text to use, separated by a comma. So we want to use B3, comma, D3, comma, B4, E3, sorry. Close the brackets, and there we have picked up those three little bits and joined them together as one string. Let's copy that down. So there's my usernames that I can use for people. While I'm on concatenate, I want to show you another way of doing this. Or not another way of doing it, but another useful feature. Because we don't just have to use cell references. I've got John and Smith as two separate strings there. Sometimes it's useful to join those together so they are one string. So we're going to do that here. We'll use concatenate again. Now I want to join the first one, A2. That's got picked up John. Now my text two, I actually want a space. So to put a space in, I need quotation marks, press the space bar, quotation marks again. That's putting a text string of nothing, a blank, in between. Text three would be the surname. So you can see what that's done. It put John space Smith. John space Smith. And then OK. And there we've got them joined together as one string. And there's the function. And of course, we could just type that in. Look at it carefully. A2, comma, quotation marks with a space in between, comma, B2. But you can use numbers as well. So you could do something like this. Equals concatenate. Open brackets. A3 comma, quotation marks, space, quotation marks, comma, B3, so I'm picking up the first and the last name. Let's have something else. Let's put the number 27 there. Close the brackets. So I've now got, let's drag that across a bit to show you, Barbara Brown 27, because I've joined together first name, space, second name and a number. So that's concatenate. Moving on now to trim, which is the last one we're going to look at in this lesson. What trim does, it trims out all the wasted space bar presses. I've got some text here and hopefully you can see that I've got a space at the beginning of the word text and as I read across, there's sometimes I've got one space between words, sometimes I've got two spaces between words. So what I want to do is get rid of all those extra, spa all those extra spaces. And it's a simple function. It equals trim, open brackets, select the cell that you want to trim, close the brackets, press the Enter key. And there we have the string there with all the extra spaces removed out apart from one space between each word. So that's text strings, left, right, mid, concatenate, and trim.